Hey everyone, I'm Waggle Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you stop by because you love seeing when people do a try on of what they picked up in the Sephora VIB sale, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, so if you missed my Sephora VIB sale hauls, plural, I will link that video in the eye above. Today I'm going to do a try on of everything I picked up. All right, let's get started with the Super Goop. This here is the Every Single Face Watery Lotion. It's an SPF 50. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very interesting and deceiving. This is 50 ml. You have to twist this top open like so, and then just gonna squirt a little out like that. It is white, and as you can see, it's very runny. And we're just gonna slather it on my face. It has a soft, subtle scent of just like, it smells like cream or moisturizer. Does not have the typical um, sunscreen scent. All right, so it absorbed into the skin and it looks like it's giving a nice glow. Oh, I forgot. Okay, let's get a hair clip in and then we can do the rest of my makeup. I think I need to today. The Super Goop, by the way, um, doesn't sting my eyes, at least not yet. So that's a really good thing. I hate when any kind of SPF product, and, and I don't even bring it near my eyes, but it can creep on in. I hate when it stings my eyes. All right, next product I'm gonna be trying is this one here from Bare Minerals. This is the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, and this is an SPF 30. As spring is finally appearing here in the Pacific Northwest and as I'm leaving the house a little more this will be lovely lazy girl style just throw on some SPF put this on top and then call it a day you know particularly if you just have to run to the grocery store real quick don't have time or don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup and then you will get the extra 30 SPF after putting it on top of 50 SPF. All right, so it is um, tinted, but it's not, you know, providing much coverage. But let's see if it will tone down any redness. All right, let's see, did it give me much coverage? I'm gonna say no, but it did add a little tint to my skin. So I'm not quite so pasty pale, but again, this is not to replace concealer, foundation, any kind of coverage. This is just meant to get your SPF on your face and maybe provide and just a little, little tint of color. All right, let's move on to actual foundation. I picked up this product here from the Sephora collection. It's the best skin ever and I have it in the shade 04N. It does have plastic around it, so let me take that off. All right, let's hope I got a good shade match. Okay, it does come with a pump, and it's the, oh, it's not, I was gonna say the standard uh, one ounce, 30 ml, no, it's 25 ml or 0.84 ounces. I did have to uh, pump it about 20 times. All right, can you see it? It's right there. That does look like it's gonna be a good shade match. If anything, ooh, that might be a little light. Okay, only one way to find out. Let's throw it on my face. That's really light, like really light. Uh, I have a dampened sponge. Let's pray I don't look like Casper the Ghost. All right, that blended into the skin nicely. It doesn't feel tacky. I can still feel a little something with my fingers, but it's only been on my face all of 30 seconds. All right, let's move on to one of the three concealers. All right, let's check out the companion um, concealer to that foundation. This is also from the Sephora collection. This is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and also in the shade 4N. 
This product also has plastic around the uh, outer packaging. Just pull this out and do a swatch. All right, it's right there. Hopefully you can see it. This does seem a little different than the, hold on, let me get a, yeah, it's a little darker, which I find interesting. They're both the four neutral, but here's the foundation and there is the concealer, which the concealer is closer to my skin tone. The foundation is a lot lighter. They're flip-flopped on, I would expect the concealer to be that shade and that to be the um, foundation. So very interesting. All right, I think I'm gonna just put it under one eye and maybe because it's darker, let's see how it does at covering my hyperpigmentation because that foundation didn't do such a great job. And then I had a friend there peeking out and let's just do that. We'll use this because it's closer to my skin tone to hide some imperfections. And then I'm gonna use one of the other concealers under the other eye. All right, I'm just gonna take the same sponge I use for my foundation and just pounce that in. All right, how did it do? No concealer, concealer. Oh, it might help if I uh, pounce that in as well. <laughs> um, I can still see some dark circles. It did do some coverage as it should, but good thing I have even more concealer to try out. All right, let's go in with one of the other concealers I picked up. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Radiant Skin Radiant Concealer and I have it in the shade Too Fair Pale. Let's do a swatch and I'll swatch it next to the one from Sephora so you can get an idea of how the uh, colors are different. All right, so here is the Sephora and here is the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, let's see if uh, Charlotte can do a better job of uh, disguising or hiding my dark circles than the Sephora brand. I'm gonna take my finger and just kinda tap it under and then go in with that same sponge and pounce it under my eye. All right, in comparison, how are we looking? About the same. <laughs> All right, no fears, because I have a third concealer. And that is this concealer from Urban Decay, which is the Stay Naked Quickie. I have it in the shade 20NN. This is what that packaging looks like. It does come with a built-in kind of a brush that's uh, dense. I don't know that I'll ever use that, but that's kind of interesting. And then there is a large doe foot. All right, this is the darkest of the three. So here is the Urban Decay, and the middle is the Charlotte, and this one on the other side is the Sephora collection. I'm gonna not quite put it under my eye, but right where I have darkness, like right below where I normally put uh, concealer. And let's see if that can do anything. This is a lot darker than the other two shades. So hopefully it will match my skin tone and just get rid of the darkness. All right, I'm just gonna take my finger and tap this in and then I'll pounce the sponge over top. Hopefully it will cover up those dark circles. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my fingers and bring it on top of my eyelids. That way the discoloration will go away and I will have like a base for when I do eyeshadow. All right, sponge time. That did help cover the uh, darkness. So yay. All right, let's just pounce extra because why not? All right, let's warm up my face now with this product here, which I was super excited to finally pick up. It's been out a while, nothing new, but it's new in my life. This here is from NARS and it's the Laguna in the shade 01. It's a cream bronzer. Let me know if you already own this and have tried it. I'm sure you have. 
I am a converted drugstore girl. Don't get me wrong, I still love my drugstore. But over the past three years, I've been slowly merging into the medium to high end tier. I would consider NARS kind of closer to the high end. And I've been splurging and treating myself to some of these brands and products that others have been raving about for years. I'm gonna take a dense brush. This one is from e.l.f. It's meant for their putty bronzers and blushes and just tap it in. I don't remember if I will regret that, so I'm just putting a little on the back of my hand. Oh, by the way, there's the swatch. Because no one wants to go cray cray, at least not intentionally. Um, but yes, okay, that is pretty. Uh, don't you worry, I will bounce it out with my sponge. I did not go in a second time, so I definitely have more on that side than this side. Let me do one more pounce. Okay, I'm gonna grab my sponge and blend it in. Very pretty. I love using cream products, particularly on my 56 year old mature skin, but that doesn't mean I won't use powders. And the next product is definitely a powder. It's from One Size. This here is the Cheek Clapper, and I have it in the shade Fat A. Uh, don't want to get demonetized. This is what the packaging looks like. It is very easy to open. I love you just go like this. It does have a cream product and two powders. I think the last time when I unboxed this, I tested it only using the powder. So let's go in and use the cream product this time. I'm just going to take my finger and do a little tapping and see how pigmented is. Pigmented, pigment, pigmented. All right, I'm gonna grab my sponge and pounce it on in. All right, that is very pretty. Let me do the other side off camera and then we'll come back and do highlighter. All right, the highlighter I'm super excited about. This here is from Rare Beauty. It's the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter, and I have it in the shade Mesmerize, which is a really nice kind of soft pink, which don't you worry, it will look beautiful on my fair skin. If you don't like pink, there is a softer kind of champagne-y shade, but this is what it looks like. Let me do a swatch. So that's what it looks like on my finger, and that is what it looks like on my hand. But who wants highlighter on their finger or their hand? Let's get it on my cheeks. I'm gonna take my sponge and just tap, tap, tap. That is gorgeous. All right, this here is not a new palette. It is new in my life. This here is from Huda Beauty and it's the new nudes palette which I'm sure you've all seen, but for me, this will be the first time using this palette. I did do a look using a Timu um, dupish palette, but this is the real deal. Look how beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna throw together a really quick eye look, and I don't even wanna be holding up the palette and explaining, because I'm sure you've seen this palette years and years and years ago. <laughs> many looks. Um, I just want to get something on my eyes and I'm reaching into this peachy shade which is very beautiful. Let's see how quick I can put together an eye look. I'm notoriously slow but I'm challenging myself right now. Okay, that is the quickest look I've ever done. Is it super intense, in-depth, or anything other than basic? No, <laughs> I used three shades. Um, I'm gonna go and use the Rare Beauty highlighter for my inner corner and the brow bone. I'm also gonna clean up the boo-boo. I went out a little too far right here. 
do the same over there and then just take the same sponge I use for my concealer and foundation and just kind of tap in what I wiped off all right let's move on to the mascara all right I'm gonna go off camera recurl my eyelashes so I don't have to traumatize someone <clears throat> Amber and then I'll come back and use the mascara all right, when I started the video, I was already um, wearing this mascara. This here is from It Cosmetics. It's a superhero waterproof mascara. I'm gonna go in and do a touch up right now. And this is what the um, wand looks like, or the brush. It's very thin compared to other brushes. And let's just go in, get a little extra. I didn't need too much, but whenever I put shimmers on with my fingers, always some of that drops down into the lashes and I'll just touch up the bottom lashes slightly all right the last item is this guy here from Urban Decay this also was an add-on or whatever they call it like a hundred point um, product I got from the bazaar it's from Urban Decay and it's the 24 7 glide on eye pencil this is not my first time using it I did use it a few days ago and one other time before that. Uh, don't want to jinx anything, but so far, this eyeliner doesn't seem to be transferring down to my lower waterline. I may have finally found an eyeliner that does what I needed to do. Okay, that is everything in my haul. Let me take the clips out of my hair. I did not, surprisingly, pick up any, um, lip products well not in the video you saw me unbox but guess what I don't know if you remember me saying it or not but I had an in-store credit so I went in store and I got a brush don't need more brushes but could not resist 30% off of this Sephora collection this is brush 56 which is very soft, but it's a little more dense. They call it a foundation brush, but I picked this up because I thought it'd be really good for doing cream contour. Um, I need to wash it or else I would have used it today, but that is one of two items. The second item I couldn't resist. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I tried to buy it online when I did my haul purchases, but Sephora online did not carry it. So I first thought it was discontinued, but then when I saw it in the store, I couldn't resist. Um, does this look familiar to anyone? This here is the Lip Luster in the shade Blondie. If you've been following me for a while, uh, you would have seen this a lot last year, and it finally made it into an empties video, but I was sad, so I picked it up. And since I don't have any other lip products, um, let's throw this on my face. Normally I don't wear that on its own. <laughs> it just dawned on me. I also just got a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I never blended that highlighter out on my brow bone. So let's blend it a little bit. Okay. Very soft, very light. I'm very peachy today. But here is everything I bought on my face. I am very curious, how are we doing under the eyes? Oh, the Sephora side is way more wrinkly, crinkly, creepy looking than the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. They both don't look fantastic, but um, interesting. I have more darkness here, but more wrinkles here. The joys of getting old. All right, leave me a comment and let me know if you picked up anything this year in the VIB Sephora sale or if you already own or have tried any of the products I put on my face today or if anything I used or shared looks interesting and you're now intrigued. All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor, if you could click that thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right. Thanks, everyone.